how she describes Madonna, my first guest says, she's charming. Meet her sister, Paula Ciccone. <laughs> Are you surprised by Madonna's success? Um, no. No? Mm -hmm. You always knew? Yeah, it just gradually went that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was always going that way. Was she singing all the time as a child? No, she wasn't singing all the time, but she was always doing something. You know, like? To be the center. Just anything. <laughs> <laughs> does it does it ever does it ever bother you? I mean, because because in order to do what all of your sisters do, um, you have to have a certain amount of ego and a certain amount of the the desire to be the center of attention. You know, I mean, I understand that. So slightly I masochistic. <laughs> you can't do this every day unless you enjoy being seen by people. You just can't do it. You can't get up on stage and and sing like that and perform like that. So has that ever gotten on your nerves, Paula? Well, it's embarrassing to know that that sick part of me exists, you know, that um, <laughs> yeah. that wants that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's there, I can't deny it, else I wouldn't be doing it. I mean, it is, it is a lot of emotional trauma and stuff, a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. and, uh, is it emotionally traumatic? Well, maybe it's different because maybe it's different for me. I don't know. You guys talked a little bit about what you're doing, but I, I'm trying to do something right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to model, so it's hard because uh -huh. there's I'm putting myself in the same place where kinda where uh -huh. she is. So when you see Madonna uh, on stage and in all of her videos, is there just a, there's a hint of envy or more than a hint, Paula? Well, yeah, sure. I mean. Everybody wants their own level of success, whatever mm -hmm. they're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and if you don't have that in your life, it doesn't matter whether they're famous or not. I mean, you know, I have success. I have other successful brothers and sisters, and I may be just as envious. But maybe it's not so apparent because nobody knows about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Have Have there ever been discussions about um, how the fame of your sisters uh, is affecting the rest of the family? Do you ever talk about it? It's not really a natural power because the power that they get outside of the family tends to come home with them. Okay. You know, you know, so whenever they come home, there's always this barrier. You have to get through the barrier, then you can start talking to them. And it, let's face it, when you get in a situation where you're being treated, you know, really well a lot, it's really hard to put it aside and just be a person. Given the inevitable comparisons with a famous sister, many siblings just give up on forging their own careers in the same field. But the three women you're about to meet say they had to go for it, despite the difficulties. While Madonna is filling arenas on a national concert tour, her younger sister, Paula Ciccone, is trying to get a modeling career off the ground in New York City. There's the millions of beautiful women in New York City. <laughs> And most of them are taller than me. <laughs> Paula is also trying to make it as a singer and songwriter. Does it help to have a famous singer as a sister? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> 